say hi from Cherish Math. Today we are dealing with another question which is a little bit of challenging for the IGCSE. K comes. PQ is a diameter of a circle. PSR is a straight line. And RQ or the QR is a tangent to the circle. Given here PQ with 12 units in length and PS is 8, what is the length of the QR which is the tangent to the circle? Since QR is a tangent to the circle, so we can confirm that this part is in fact a right angle. And I'm going to draw an additional line here to show it is connected from the center O. And this OS is in fact the radius of a circle. This radius, we obtain it by using 12 as the diameter divided by 2. We get 6 here as the radius. So this part is the same as well for the OP, 6 units for the radius. By referring to the triangle POS, we are using this triangle to find what is the value of the theta angle here. We're using the cosine rule to deal with the angle theta. And here is the cosine rule. A equal to B square plus C square minus 2 multiplied B C and multiplied by cos theta. The value of A here is in fact 6 here that I'm pointing which is opposite the theta. B and C is 6 here which is the OP and the PS is the C. So we have to substitute each of the values into the formula of the cosine rule. We are working on it now by substitution. 6 square equal 6 square plus 8 square minus 2 6 a cos theta. Now the next step, we try to rearrange all of the numbers and the cos theta here. That turns cos theta is the same as 6 square plus 8 square minus 6 square and divided by 2 multiplied 6 multiplied 8. The next step, we are going to simplify the formula. 6 square minus 6 square is gone. Now, 8 square divided by 8, we just have to cut away the 8. What left here is cos theta equal 8 divided by 2 times 6. I'm going to continue our workings over here. Cos theta, we got it as 8 divided by 2 times 6. And we still have to go for the simplification. And cos theta, we got here is by using this. We come to a point of getting the cos theta in its simplest form of 2 thirds. And now we need to produce the equivalent fraction of the cos theta by referring to the triangle PQR, which is the largest triangle in our diagram here. For PQ, the measurement is 12. And 2, in order to get into 12, it has to be multiplied by 6 and 3 as the denominator follows suit. As a result, we get 2 times 6 as 12 and 3 times 6 as 18. 
12 over 18 is the equivalent fraction of the cos theta. We know that 12 is in fact PQ, is the length of PQ. 18 is stands for the hypo. Since the definition of the cos theta is adjacent, which is PQ, divided by the hypo, which is PR. And now we want to find what is the value of the QR by using the theorem Pythagoras. And since this length, we know that it is 18 for the PR. Now, the theorem Pythagoras would be QR is the same as square root of 18 square take away 12 square. So the value would be QR is the same as, we have to use a calculator to do this part. Now, 18 squared, the value here is 324 minus 144. That would be giving us the answer of QR as 100 80. QR, we have to split the number 180 by using 36 times 5. Now, 36, the square root of 36 is in fact, we are getting 6 for 8. Now, the square root of 5, it just has to be remained in the square root of 5. So, this is our final answer for the length of the QR. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.